let's move uh, swiftly to our Abuja studio and hear from those who are in the middle of all of these issues in the PDP leadership. Their accusations and counter accusations against the National Working Committee, the spokesperson of the party, Mr. Kola Ologbodion. He joins me from Abuja studio. Thank you so much, Mr. Ologbodion, for joining us. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, you know what we do right here on Politics Today? We'll try to get those who matter, those who are at the center of all of this issue, to talk to them and get our viewers the right to know and the opportunity to decipher what exactly is happening. So let us ask you, I understand that there was a meeting yesterday. I understand that Prince Uche Secundus, in the, in the presence of some NWC members, met with the aggrieved 70, seven deputies who resigned. What is the outcome? Plus the meeting of today also, have you been able to resolve the matter at the end of the day? Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, I listened to you when you said that, is there, was there an implosion or is there an implosion? And I wish to state that well, the PDP has suffered from the language of the media in recent times, from gale of defections to implosions. But I must confess in totality and I must make you to understand that all these are just use of words. They are not a true reflection of what's happening in the People's Democratic Party. But having said that, yes, there was a meeting yesterday uh, because we had an, a, an upheaval in the meeting that we had in the afternoon. We resolved that in the evening we should meet again and calm down nerves of those who were expressing grievances. And we had a successful meeting last night. And today we had another meeting of the NWC where the national chairman, Prince Richard Secondus, uh, met with the aggrieved um, uh, deputies who have expressed all sorts and all manners of grievances. And he spoke to them the way a father would talk to his children. And at the end of it all, the deputies told the National Working Committee members that were present that they would want to go and reconsider their position and they would bring a feedback. That's where we are. So what about today's meeting? Because I understand that there was another meeting today. Yes, I just said this, uh, Shion, that uh, there was a meeting today and at the meeting okay. that we had Sorry, I apologize. I thought you were referring to, to yesterday's meeting. Uh, I thought you were referring to yesterday's no, no, yesterday meeting. No, yesterday's meeting was exclusively... Yesterday's meeting was exclusively between members of the National Working Committee in order to speak to one another and find a way of calming down those who are expressing anger. Sometimes when politicians talk about uh, respond when Nigerians perceive what is happening in their parties as crises, uh, they tend to try to calm nerves and say, oh, nothing is happening, no crisis. Interestingly, you don't like the word crisis or implosion, but you, you use the word hop heaver, <laughs> which is a synonym to the word disturbance, <laughs> trouble, crisis. Well, if it, it's either hop heaver or crisis, whichever word we're using, we know that Something is not right. If it's right, we wouldn't be discussing it right now. But let's look at it. The allegations against the national chairman of the party. Some of the deputies are alleging that the man does not carry them along. That the man will travel and will not take them along. The man will go visiting the governors. He will not take them along. These are some of the allegations. You know, I have my ears to the ground. So, uh, and... Well, one we wonder, uh, was it uh, some kind of largesse that is not reaching them and that's why they are grieved or what? So, every, whatever you have said or all, the, all that you had said now borders on concerns raised by the deputies. And like I told you, the National Working Committee has met with the deputies and looking for a way, an approach of using the internal conflict resolution mechanism established in the party to resolve these issues. If there is a difference between you and I, Shem, I can raise all manner of allegations. I can raise issues. But it depends on how these issues become resolved between us. So there is no need for me to sit down here, Shem, and begin to talk about allegations, about issues, that way no, it is. But what Mr. I know, Mr. Look, I want yeah. to speak, tell yeah. the public. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, come to, I'll come to the second leg. I'll come to the second leg of your issue. So what I know and what I want to tell the public 
is that, yes, we had some concerns and grievances in the party, and we have withdrawn inwards to go and find a means of resolving these issues. We are talking to our leaders, we are talking to our stakeholders, we are talking to party members across the nation to find a way of resolving all issues. But talking about Lages, the People's Democratic Party has established and in line with its constitution, places the responsibility of the day-to-day -day administration of the party within the confines of the National Working Committee. Though we were elected on the same day, the deputies, apart from the Deputy National Secretary and the Deputy National Chairman, are members of the National Executive Committee. The NWC is charged with responsibility of the day-to-day -day activities of the party. So it is wrong to say that, oh, the chairman is traveling to collect largesse, you know, and I plead with you that let's withdraw no, no. that aspect. No, uh, so let me ask a simple question, uh, because some of these issues are easy to be discussed on tabloid and on channel television, we don't discuss unsubstantiated issues. But if I ask you, is any of the deputies taking along on a trip to Dubai by any member of the NWC or to visit any of the governors? So it depends on the assignment that's available. For when, instance, let me when, make a declaration. For example, that when you travel so to let Dubai, me, so when the, the NWC traveled to Dubai, did you. He, did, 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 did any of the deputies, were they taken to Dubai? So as I speak with you, and you can check this, I can submit my international passport to you to check. I have never, I, Kola I have never been to Dubai. I have never, and I say it clearly, and, it's, and you can check it. I have never been to Dubai. So, if there are responsibilities in Dubai, and particular categories of officers are expected to proceed to Dubai, if it includes my activities, for instance, and I do not have the time, and I didn't go, or it does not include some other people's activities, and it's only those whose activities were required that traveled, we cannot be subjecting that to debates in public places here. We are a party established under this constitution, and our operations are within the confines of what is obtainable here. I have told you clearly, Sheon, there are categories of organs in the People's Democratic Party. The National Working Committee is charged with responsibility of the day-to-day -day operations of the party. The NEC has its own duties, which does not require day-to-day -day activities. And I've told you that the Constitution also provides for those that consist of the National Working Committee. So I don't want our party to be dragged in public place over what is called two fighting in Lagos. But for <laughs> us, yes, concerns have been raised. <laughs> two fight. Grievances have been, have been placed. And we are doing whatever is required to ensure that our home, the People's Democratic Party, remains steady, remains stable, and is prepared to oust the reckless and inept administration of the All Progressives Congress and President Mahmoud Bari. On a final note, and quickly too, Mr. Ologbodion, um, some of the allegations include being marginalized, being, not being given uh, responsibilities as deputies, and they also raise the fact that um, the party has not been properly administered. They've not been playing, the party has not been playing a proper role of the opposition, and the three governors have already left, and more members of the party are leaving, and they are grieved that they may not, the party may not return to power in 2023, as he hopes to. Is... Me, uh, Prince Uche Sekundu is listening to this. Is he responding to this? And what is there any amends that he's hoping to personally take in this regard? Quickly, sir. Well, well, well to be honest with you, what we have raised is within the purview of the office of the national chairman. And in public discourse today, these are issues of concern, particularly to members of the People's Democratic Party. And I believe, like I said earlier on, the stakeholders the leaders, the members, our parliamentarians, our governors, our former president, our former vice president, everybody 
is of concern about the situation. The Queen has any president about the situation as they concern what we are speaking to. And I believe that the fullness of time, the party has its machinery to come together and find a solution to the issues at stake. But I must emphatically say that for the deputies, they had a, we had a meeting today and they appreciated the conviviality of the atmosphere of that meeting and they said they are going to have a think and they will bring back their final decision. When would their final decision be tomorrow, today? So, you are pushing me harder. I'm not a deputy. I'm the <laughs> National Publicity Secretary. I do not participate in their own meeting. It is only when they bring their decisions to the National Working Committee that will have the advantage of knowing what their decisions are when they are prepared to present it. And she now will assure you that even channels television and you, Shane, you will come and rejoice with the People's Democratic Party. I don't, well, I, I, I will only rejoice when Nigeria is better. And I hope that your party will have a uh, role to play in that. Our That's responsibility, she, our responsibility and the desire of every Nigerian out there is that we should come back and entrench the fact that Nigeria is better with the People's Democratic Party. I wish you, your party, the very best. Uh, Kola Ologbodion, the spokesperson of the People's Democratic Thank Party. Much, Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Thank you. And try to visit Dubai, if you may, Thank you because much. some of the deputies think that you have. <laughs> <laughs> if you sponsor me, if you sponsor me, I will readily do that. Same. If you sponsor me, I will readily do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Shiwaki Malay. Bye-bye.